Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back. Hope you're having a fantastic day. CDT. There it is. We're in mid-tiers today, guys. Look at this little thing. I like the look of that. It's uh, Exa. Exa from the SE clan. Shout out to you guys. He ain't moving fast. He's going to have an amazing game. And we're going to watch a higher tier game. Just two uh, kind of regular schmo type pl people playing today. And a few of you uh, from Europe asked in the comment section. What is that name you guys use about regular peoples? Schmoes. A regular schmo. Is he going to take a hit? Is he going to take a hit? He does not take a hit. It's like that German guy. That was the CEO of BP, I think. Which was the company that had the spill, the oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. I believe it was BP. Do you remember? And I believe the guy was German. He might not have been German, but he was of German or Austrian. He was, he was I think he was German. So he was the face of the company. And he doesn't, or didn't know, the vernacular and the the way we describe people in, the, the words we use in North America. And one of the question was, I mean, you're doing this cleanup and you're spending all this money with the oil and this and that, but what about all the people that are affected by this? The restaurant owners and the people that have property and the businesses and the fishermen and all the regular schmoes that are going to be affected. is It's not good enough just to clean up the spill. You have to compensate them. That was one of the questions he had at a press conference. I'm paraphrasing, but... Uh, what about all the regular schmoes? Someone asked him. And he was up there and he said, Yes. We care also about the small peoples. Do you remember that? That's what he said. We we care about the small peoples. So that's what he said. And he, he didn't mean anything mean or bad. He didn't know, right? He didn't know we care about the regular schmoes. We're going to do our best to help them too. He didn't say that because he didn't know. He said, yes. And he was very stiff. He was holding a... Yes. We care about the small peoples. And that was all over the media in the US. And they ridiculed him and berated him. And, and he had eventually... He was shamed into resigning. He was trying to do the right thing. Now, his company screwed up with the oil spill. But he was trying the best he could. And he was a very serious man. Destroyed. A career destroyed. Because he said, we care about the small peoples. And the small peoples in the U.S. could not could not accept that what he meant was exactly what they wanted him to say. That he cares about the regular schmoes. He said, yes, I care about the small peoples. They said, nah, we can't have this guy. Get him out of there! <laughs> and, okay, okay. So, for those of you from Europe that asked in the comments section a few times, we don't know where that shot went. Let's not discuss that. For those of you who asked, what's that word you use? What is the word that you use in North America to describe the small peoples? Regular small. <laughs> uh, if there was a, a Canadian or American CEO of a company in Germany, 
and something happened in Germany, and he said, don't worry about it, we'll, we'll take care of the regular schmoes, then he would be thrown out. What is he talking about schmo? Does he not care about the small peoples? <laughs> and that, that's just the way it is. That's just the way it is, guys. Do you guys remember that? Leave it in the comment section if you remember that. <laughs> Everything I said was true. This is a true story. What's the guy's name? Someone Google it and put it... This is career ending. Simple translation. Simple... Saying the same thing. Different language. We're not comfortable with that. They're not comfortable with that. Now, why do we have different languages? Seriously. Why do we have different languages uh, in the world? But can't we all just speak English? <laughs> that was a joke. Because that's what everyone else... Why, why can't we all speak French? Everyone know that's best. But why do we have different languages? Ever think about that? I think about that. Don't we want to be able to communicate? No. If you cross this line, you must refer to the schmoes as the small peoples. And on that line, there are regular schmoes. Especially in Europe. What a shit show. And it's like a whole bunch of countries in this small little area, and you all speak different languages. How the hell did you manage that? Think about it! And I know you're all proud of the languages you speak. I know, I know, I realize that. It's fine. Why can't we learn multiple languages? So why do we have to? Like, why do... Can't we all learn one? Can't we just decide? I, I guess, though, if we did that, then we'd all have to learn Mandarin. <clears throat> and so let's, that's not going to work. <laughs> oh, my God. But it's just... It's, it's, why can't we... Why couldn't we evolve? I guess we evolved separately, right? It's, it's like Darwin's theory. It's like the... Um, uh, the birds on this island all have longer beaks, and the birds on that island all have little beaks. How the hell did that happen? Well, I'll tell you why. Because on this island, there's a certain kind of tree that grows. It grows really fast. It's like a poplar type tree that grows to full uh, growth in only takes four years. And it only lives ten years and then falls down onto the forest floor. And the termites... Dig little holes and live in those trees and they're deep 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 inside the tree The tree is about that big around and the termites live six inches inside there and those birds They need to eat those termites and all the birds with the little beaks died because when they pecked on that little uh, Tree trunk to try and get the termite they could only wiggle their little beaks in there about three-quarters of an inch And they couldn't find enough to eat and they died the weirdos that were born with four inch beaks that everyone ridiculed on the other island, they burrowed in there and they could eat as many termites as they want. So they got big and fat and they married another bird with a long beak and they had a kid with an even longer, dumber looking beak. And he was able to eat even more termites. That's why they all have long beaks on this island and on the other island, they all have small beaks because those trees don't grow on the other islands. On the other island, there's these other trees that take 200 years to grow and they make these nice fruit that are juicy and soft and the birds can just pick 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 on them and they don't need to burrow in and eat the termites so i can understand that i can understand having a long beak or a short beak but the birds do you think they chirp differently on the different islands no it doesn't matter what island they're on long beak or short beak they all go tweet tweet you know rock and robin tweet Tweet, lead, eat. All of them. They all tweet. So humans, why? Why do we all have pretty much the same size nose, but we, we speak differently? How does that make sense? 
It's topsy-turvy. It's completely different from the animal kingdom. Right? And it only took those birds on the order of hundreds of years living on different islands well, for one to have four and a half inch beaks and the other ones to have three quarter inch beaks. Completely different. They look completely differently, but they both tweet. They go both fly by each other and go tweet, tweet, tweet. Humans, the opposite. We can live on opposite sides of the world for thousands of years. We still look... No, we still look the same. But we can't communicate. How does that make any sense? You ever thought about that? Think about it. Things are not as easily understood as... Uh, is he getting blind shots here? He's actually getting blind shots. Look where the, the, what he's shooting. Whether that is important or not for you. Who knows? Let me know if you think he's getting blind shots. He's shooting the stock hound. <laughs> that's the first one that hit. None of them are showing splash, but that's the first one that hit. Now it's showing splash. Maybe all the other ones bounced. We're going to see how many shots he hit the stock hound with. All these things that happen that you just take for granted that, uh, you know, oh, that's not the way it is. You know, none of you ever think about why that is? You never think about it? You don't care? All you care about is whether you get the uh, uh, supersized fries when you order the, the Big Mac? Is it supersized Tuesday? Is that all you care about? You think about the example I just gave you, and I'll leave it in the comment section, how it works. Why, uh, why it is the way it is. I know there's going to be some weird answers, I can tell you that much. There's going to be some weird answers from people that have no idea what I'm talking about, but they're sure that they know the answer. And that's how we handle World of Tanks when we're watching a mid-tier game, a tier 6 tank. is We don't watch the game, we don't care about the game, we have no idea what happened in the game, we have an interesting discussion about something else. Uh, tell me what to do. <laughs> Why the hell do they have big beaks? Little beaks. Nobody knows. So there's termites over here and there's not termites over there. Does that happen on Earth? I guess it does. Get down in China, they, uh, they all eat rice. It's a staple food down there. So they evolved to eat it with sticks. In Italy, they, uh, they all eat pasta. It's a staple food. They evolve to eat it with a fork. They spin it. It's like the beaks. Why the hell do they use sticks? I mean, rice is small. It's little things. Tiny pieces. Don't they fall through? Why don't they use spoons? The birds know what they're doing, right? I gotta, I gotta dig in there. I need a long beak. Humans? Oh, look, a bowl of a whole bunch of little tiny pieces. Let's use sticks. The Italians. Oh, let's, let's make the... Instead of having the pasta small pieces, we'll make them really long. So that we have to twirl them. You gotta put that much on your fork. It's ridiculous. And the, and the North Americans will just eat... We'll just eat with our hands like this. We'll call it a burr gur. <clears throat> you can't eat a burger with chopsticks. I, well, I, I, I guess, I bet there's someone that does. I bet there is someone that does. This commentary has gone sideways. I might have to edit out everything because it's all inappropriate, apparently. Apparently talking about things that actually occur on Earth is inappropriate. Number one, for those of you who are butt hurt, uh, uh, rice is a staple food in the diet in China, and pasta is a staple food in the diet in uh, Italy, and burgers are a staple food uh, 
in uh, North America. And uh, uh, Chinese use chopsticks to eat the rice and Italians use forks to eat the um, pasta and uh, Americans use their hands uh, to eat the burgers. That's all true. Somehow, th that's the way we, uh, the way we evolved. Uh, evol I use the word evolved loosely. It's the uh, habits and the, our, the mannerisms and uh, our the things that, you know, the way we, our personal, what's the word? I'm looking for a word. See, to, when you're looking for a word, you're supposed to keep the conversation going without saying, uh, what's the word? Uh, we're, I'm going to say, uh, it's our cultural preference. No, it's not. Forks and chopsticks are not a cultural preference. They're just a, the tool of choice, right? Which is strange because we just talked about the three and the, the tool of choice for eating forks chopsticks and hands whereas if you're talking about digging a hole the tool of choice is a shovel for all of them like the Chinese don't dig holes with sticks and the Americans don't dig holes with their hands actually the Americans probably use some sort of a, uh, a mechanical tool that does the work for them because they're lazy <laughs> and the Italians just won't dig. They'll say, fuck you, you dig. I'm not digging. And they go home. <laughs> the Chinese, they just get a lot of them and they all dig and they get it done faster than the Americans. The, Ameri the, the, the back hose broken. In the <laughs> yeah, this commentary is going sideways. I'm trying to compare and contrast um, and answer very interesting questions that pertinent questions about how, why things are the way they are on earth and we started with the birds and the termites and now we're talking about uh, different cultures let's talk about more cultures because it's politically incorrect what is the tool of choice for eating in uh, what's another big country china's the big, uh, india is the second most populated country right what do uh, the indians what's their tool of choice uh, I know if I go to an Indian restaurant, and I love Indian food, by the way. If I order some sort of a curry and stuff, they usually bring you pita, naan bread pita thing, and then you break off a piece and you use that to scoop scoop it up. I think they do a lot of scooping. I think the Indian tool of choice is to scoop. They Somehow they scoop things, I know. Uh, right? Am I right? If there's some Indians watching, let me know. I know, and... North America and Europe when they're assimilated into kind of Western we all use forks and knives but I think in their culture they do a lot of scooping there's a whole lot of scooping going on what's another big uh, uh, country I'm going through the most populated there's the Chinese the Indians what's the third most populated country on earth is it uh, what is it I don't know. What's the correct answer to that? Is it uh, somewhere in, like, Thailand? Is, is that it? I don't know. Uh, Japan's pretty popular. It's not, not up there. Japan, I think they use the chopsticks, right? Japan's chopsticks. Or they use the, those little spoons that don't look like spoons. They look like ladles, like mini ladles. That you would use, like, if you were uh, playing Barbies and the small Barbie had a ladle. That's what they look like. That's what they for, for soup. <laughs> Am I right? Okay, leave it in the car. Come on. And I don't mean to. Uh, I, I'm not being politically incorrect. I'm just uh, sharing my knowledge with you guys. But you guys, let me know where you're from and what the tool of choice is. For e what do you use to eat? And I know most of them is going to be forks, knives, spoons, but uh, other cultures probably have other tools of choice, right? You'd be surprised. There's, if you look at the population, on Earth, there's billions of people that eat with chopsticks. Billions. Not just. 
Oh, 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 I, oh. I'm not kidding. Not that you should, not that there's anything wrong with that. Remember Tony Soprano? <laughs> Just got me to think of Tony Soprano. <laughs> uh, he's talking to his kid about eating pasta and he's twirling it or something. And uh, I don't know how the co topic came up, but the kid said, Oh, Dad, it wasn't the Italians that invented pasta, it was the Chinese. And Tony's really insulted about this. Remember Tony Soprano? Rudolph uh, Gandolfini? Is that his name? He passed away. God rest his soul. Or peace. What do you say? Whatever you say when someone's passed away. Rest in peace. <coughs> uh, he says to his kid, What? What are you talking about? Italians invented pasta. And his kid, No, no, the Chinese did. And he goes, Why the hell would the Chinese invent the food that you need a fork to eat when they eat with sticks? <laughs> And I thought that was the funniest line I'd ever heard. <laughs> he says it so seriously, right? He's like mad at his kid. And his kid just... <laughs> and the, now, see, that's funny. That's comedy. Right? That is uh, comedy gold. <laughs> that is real funny. Anyway, anyway <clears throat> yeah. So, uh, have we covered everything? Have we covered it all? Yeah, I think we're done. <laughs> They're arguing in the chat. Read the chat. If you don't want to listen to me, read the chat. I don't know. It's, uh, it's just, answer the question that I gave you guys. How come in the animal kingdom you can put birds on different islands and they have different length? Their, their appearance changes, but they still tweet. But if you put humans on different islands for hundreds of years, their appearance remains the same, but they, they have different languages. That's a big difference between animals and humans. You explained that to me in the car. That was the whole point of this discussion, okay? That was the point. I know. It's not an easy answer. Those of you who think, oh, well, obviously. It's not an easy answer. See if you can answer it in the comment section. I'll catch you guys. Hopefully. <laughs> On the next one.